Junior Kimbrough. He knew what, what he was doing. This man obviously means business. Really, really strong music, you know. Now, sometime I may be riding down the road, and one will come into my mind, you know, and I'll just start to sing. I have to sing a good while before it won't leave me, you know what I mean. Baby, work! Junior had never left out of Mississippi. He has never actually ever went any place to change the sound of his music. In fact, see, he don't have any education. So he don't have any music, style of music. He just played from what he hears, and that is all. So it's like he almost like sat down and deliberately reinvented the blues without sounding retro. Several people who have come here and offered him free lessons, he won't uh, accept that. He started playing music when he, he was something like eight years old. I used to play slide music like they play now, but it, it was on two wires. You know, the broom wires come off these old broom, you know, and take a nail on the nail side of the house and give me a bowl and put it on there and play slide on that on them wire. I agreed to record Junior Kimbrel, and we went out there. It was kind of magic happened that day. <laughs> After working, he was like, you know, I just said, fuck it. He said, I knew I wasn't really going to have anything. And he said, the one thing I was determined not to do anymore was to help anyone else get famous or, or to get their music out there. He said, from now on, I was only going to play my stuff. To conscientiously put his artistic stamp on everything. We were brought in to meet Junior. He received us like royalty, meaning he was the royalty. You see the people just grooving. It just put you into a trance. It's, it's hypnotic and it's, it's so laid back. It's so laid back, it's very seductive. It always sounds like 